Ah, good morning, Eastern Iowa, and uh, good morning, Liz. <laughs> good morning. How's it going, Dan? It's going good. Uh, it's Friday morning. I did just pour myself a fresh cup of coffee, and we're re- recording Careers in Coffee. Yeah, I went to come and go just for this, so, you know, <laughs> nice. even though I'm remote today, I had to hit, I had to hit come and go this morning. Good deal. They're making pretty good coffee these days, aren't they? <laughs> Probably not. I, I'm Probably. no connoisseur of coffee, though. I am not, like, uh, I like it. I like, I like uh, diner coffee. That's my favorite kind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'm a fan as well. Um. Well, uh, speaking of uh, getting caffeinated and getting ready to go, uh, it's September 2nd, so we just crossed over into September, and uh, next week we have a career fair. Yeah. How did that happen? Yeah, I know, right? And so uh, next Thursday, September 8th, make sure you're well caffeinated enough to you know, hold a conversation <laughs> with several employers, and uh, come to the career fair, uh, which is at Lindale Mall from 3 to 6 p.m., Thursday, September 8th, uh, and I know we have uh, quite a few employers signed up, and they keep trickling in here. Uh, have you gotten a t- uh, look, chance to take a look at the list, Liz? <laughs> yeah, we have some really good employers coming to this career fair. I'm super psyched about it because there's going to be such a variety of jobs available, uh, positions to discuss with employers there. So whether you're um, uh, used to working in manufacturing settings or you work in an office setting, there's going to be something for everyone, um, anywhere from entry level to highly experienced roles. So mm-hmm. it's pretty cool that it's all going to be at such a whole uh, six accessible place like Lindale Mall. And da 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 da, what happens with the first 150 attendees, uh, Dan? We are handing out a coupon for a free Chick fil A sandwich. <laughs> coupons. <laughs> I love coupons. coupons. <laughs> yeah, so uh Chick-fil-A is right by Lindale Mall. Uh they're mm-hmm. looking to hire. Yeah, and... they're gonna have a booth as well. Yeah. So it's pretty cool that they were able to participate and offer a little something something for uh attendees for making an effort to come out. Yes. Um, so if you're in the first 150 people to show up uh and register, register with us, spend some time with the career fair. Uh, talking to employers, uh, you'll get a coupon for a free Chick Fil A sandwich. You take care of dinner. Yeah, but other than uh, chicken sandwiches, <laughs> there's a lot of other resources going to be at the career fair. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about those, Dan? Yeah, sure. So Iowa Works or Iowa Workforce Development is going to be there, and uh, also Trio at Kirkwood. Uh, these are going to help either active or passive job seekers. Just um, They'll be able to help with uh, things like your resume or uh, upskilling, giving you some advice for, you know, maybe if you want to change career paths or you're not sure which way to go, uh, Mm -hmm. there's going to be people at this career fair to help you out and assist you along your way. Even if you're maybe not looking for a change right now, or, you know, maybe thinking about a change in the future, uh, these Mm -hmm. services will be able to uh, help you out as you, you know, make that next step. Yeah, and so, and Iowa Works is a really great resource. They're actually located in the lower part of the mall, mm-hmm. too. So they're coming upstairs for this event, but it'll be really good uh, if you get connected with them because then, um, you know, you might want to continue working with Iowa Works to get you placed in a position that's right for you. Um, you know, so, and then the trio at Kirkwood, too, is going to be able to make those connections for you if you need a little bit of upskilling. So let's say you're working in a role right now that's not uh, providing for you financially and you need additional skills to make the change to a job that's going to pay more. Um, Trio at Kirkwood's a good resource for helping you um, access potentially free training in order to get those skills, right, through the different uh, tools that they have there at Kirkwood. Absolutely. Um, Well, along with uh, those uh, resources that'll be there, Let's talk, uh, I want to get your opinion, and I think we've done a careers and coffee on this, or at least I know we've written about it on, on Corridor Careers, uh, but what do you think a job seeker should wear to a career fair? Well, I mean, it's changed, definitely. Like, once upon a time, career fairs, it was suit and tie and, like, dress up, you know, 
And now career fairs are like, just, just look presentable and right for the job that you're applying for. Um, and we've definitely gotten more casual over um, COVID <laughs> as people have transitioned to remote work, uh, but definitely don't wear sweatpants and flip-flops. That's not, that's not gonna impress anyone. Um, and it's, you know, it's at the mall, like what would you wear to the mall? So I think it's, I think it's gonna be kind of easy for job seekers to find something that is presentable and, you know, it should just match the job that you're, you're looking to, to put yourself into. Yeah, I like what you said there, looking uh, dressed to match the job that you're looking to get, right? Or mm -hmm. dress how you even think a, a step ahead of the job that you yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, want to walk, right? It certainly um, doesn't hurt, you know, and we've seen, you know, past career fairs that we've held, the one we held in the spring, um, people were wearing anywhere from suits to um, jeans and a nice top. And um, it just depended kind of on what they were looking for. But the, the job seekers that I think were most impressive to employers were the ones that were kind of a little prepared for the job fair. So they kind of knew what they were looking for. Um, and it doesn't hurt to have a copy of your resume with you. Um, previously, that before COVID, like employers didn't want that. And they were like, you know, it's just a distraction. You're going to have to apply online anyway. But I don't know. I've, did you see that too, Dan, at the spring career fair that employers were more open to receiving well, resumes? Yeah, a little bit. And especially compared to uh, like last year where we were still kind of dealing with pandemic and social distancing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think about the career fair we had last fall around this time and employers were still saying like, hey, you know, you still need to go online to our website and apply to the job. Um, so we can't really accept your resume type thing. But yeah, I think this past spring in April, they were a little more open to it. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I was gonna. That was actually my next question on my list. About <laughs> resumes and cover letters. I don't think it can hurt. You know, yeah. if you if you print off uh, several copies of your resume or uh, and cover letter, uh, you could just staple them together or paperclip them together. Um, I think that would, to me as an employer, that would make a difference, right? So mm -hmm. they're gonna, you know, employers are gonna be meeting with, you know, several people, um, you know, quite a few. <laughs> And so mm -hmm. if they can attach your resume to a face and say, hey, I had a really nice conversation with that person. I got their resume right in front of me. Then maybe they'll even, you know, if they enjoyed their conversation with you, they'll put a check mark to reach out to you or whatever right on your resume mm -hmm. or highlight. Uh, I don't see that. Uh, I don't see how that could be a downside at all. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things to avoid on your resume. If you do decide to bring one with you, don't put a picture of yourself on your resume. <laughs> like try to keep it professional. So just put your name and your contact information. That's the most important part of a resume. Um, check for spelling errors, grammatical errors, um, and just put your, um, you know, try to keep it short so that it's readable and scannable by an uh, employer. We have tips that we can link to all about resumes, but of course, Hey, if you don't, don't be discouraged. If you don't have your resume put together, just stop by the Iowa works people. They can help. Um, they are experts at this and they do it every day, all day. <laughs> so, um, and they can even offer you guidance of like, yeah, you can step downstairs and we can help you, um, get that put together for you. So that's really a win-win it's for anyone that is in the market for a new job in 2022, 2023, even, you know, yeah, um, we'll be here before we know it. <laughs> yeah, if you're considering change. And, you know, there might be a few job seekers out there who haven't worked in a long time, and this is their opportunity to kind of get in touch and see what's out there. It's it's a good opportunity for you to come and meet a few people that are, you know, meet different companies that are going to um, talk to them about your experience and maybe have a conversation about a role that might be right for you. For sure. All right. Liz, um, you do you want to register else? ahead of time? Yeah, I mean, if you want to register ahead of time, which we strongly encourage, um, visit quarterofcareers.com. Um, there's a big button at the bottom of the screen that says career fair. Click on that. Um, if you register, um, your information will be logged, and that will allow us to send it to all the employers after the event, which is super helpful. And you can also, on our event page, you can see the different employers. And if you click on the employer logos, then you can see what jobs that they have available and see if there's something there that you're interested in. Cool. So to recap, Thursday, September 8th, 3 to 6 yeah. p.m. 
Wendell Mall. We'll be on the main floor. I think that's important. So we'll, we'll be right on the main floor, kind of uh, in between Von Mauer and the Buckle, if you know where that's at, if you're familiar with Wendell Mall at all. But right on the main floor, there'll be signage all over the place. So just follow the signs. You can't, you won't be able to miss us. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Yeah. And maybe you'll get a pretzel afterwards. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I, you know, maybe you still got some back to school, back to, you know, shopping to do or something and yeah. pretzel smoothie. So <laughs> this should be a really fun event. We hope we see you there uh, September 8th, 3 to 6 p.m. All right. Thanks, Liz. See ya. Bye.